On Friday night, praise and prayer. How's everyone doing? Woo! We are going to be celebrating the Lord Jesus Christ's um, death for our sins tonight as well. It's talking a lot about how that relates to the great exodus that's coming up as well yes. as how that the previous, the previous uh, exodus from before that. It's going to be an exciting night. By the way, we're going to be celebrating the Seder dinner uh, with Amanda Grace and backstage um, on tomorrow night okay so that's going to be 6 p.m so we move that to tomorrow night to celebrate it with amanda we're going to have her on video but you come backstage you'll be able to be backstage with us we'll be projecting that live here as well probably going to have a teaching beforehand so probably go uh she goes at 6 p.m cst we will go right after that so i wanted to show you guys that just real quick uh, before we get rolling here and praising the lord like mad um, you can find it on her blog spot, amandagraceforhimblogspot.com. You will have a, also a way to, you can click on here and see if you want to shop for the Seder plate. You can have a vegetable, uh, pretty easy, uh, some, some, some fruit that kind of, that the motor of, of the, uh, between the bricks, right? It kind of uh, uh, talks about that, the roasted bone, which symbolizes the Passover offering, uh, a hard boiled uh, roasted egg. Heart, heart, horseradish root, romaine lettuce, probably some matzo, which is flat bread, right? Non-leavened bread, some wine. Those are the type of the things. We don't do the orange thing. That's kind of one of these feminist-oriented type things we're not gonna do. Um, so, so we're. But anyway, if you wouldn't mind looking at that list, we'd love to join tomorrow night, 6 p.m. CST. We're gonna probably go a little low. I'll uh, probably talking about the first fruits, how that uh, and the the. The Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is very important to the Lord. So that is why we're going to be talking about these things here shortly. But with that, we're going to get into literally praising and worshiping the Lord. Remember, when we do that, yes. and uh, it's, it's just an amazing time so, here shortly. But with oops, that, we're going to get like into got double audio somewhere. Praising yeah. and worshiping. So I'm trying to figure that, out where that yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's I think I know where that is. Amazing the, the, yeah, that's, that's, that's on my, that's on my, that is in my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> so so that, that is uh, going live right now, by the way, on uh, the, the yeah, that's that's another one my, going on. That is I was just talking about how great our technology was working, right? Was I not so just that, saying that? All right. Looks like uh, how did we find it? <laughs> yeah, somebody was unmuted. So oh my god. So we uh, okay, that yeah. was playing it and behind. So let me. It's uh, real simple, Rick. Yeah. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in the Good Friday. Let every heart adore. Let every soul awake. Yeah. Almighty. God of love, be welcomed in our parade. We welcome you, here we go again, and we welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise, almighty God of love, be welcome right here on the Good Friday stream, Lord. Let every soul awake. Hearts on fire, full of praise. And let our praise be your welcome. And let our songs be the sign that we are here for you. Woo! We are here for you, Lord. Let your breath come from heaven. Let your breath come from heaven and fill our hearts with your life. Cause we are here. we're here for you, Lord. You yeah. We are here for you. 
this little pre-chorus, check it out, guys, to you. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden, and you are our one desire. I love it. You alone are holy, only you are worthy. Well, God, let your fire fall. Let's try that again to you. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden, and you are our one desire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you alone are holy, only you are worthy. So God, let your fire fall down. Let your fire fall down. Friday stream for you. We welcome you, yeah, and we welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise, Almighty God of love. Be welcomed in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul away. Almighty God of love, you're welcome right here. Almighty God of love, be welcome right here in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, you're welcome right here in this place. We come and worship you, Lord. Ah, we come and worship you. tonight to worship you so let our shout be your anthem your renown fill the skies we are here for you Lord let our shout and let our shout be your anthem your renown fill the skies cause we are here for you We are here for you, Lord, and let your word move in power, let what's dead come back to life, cause we are here for you. Let's do it again. Let somebody shout, unmute, two, three, shout to the Lord. And let our shout, shout. Hallelujah. be your anthem. I love it. Be your renown. Fill the skies, because we are here for you, Lord. We are here for you. Let your word move in power and let your word move in power. Let what's dead come back to life because we are here for you. Oh, we are here for you. To you our hearts are open, Lord. are open nothing here is hidden and you are our one desire yeah, and you alone are holy only you are worthy God let your fire fall down do it again you our hearts 
of our praise and our worship is so very powerful. Psalm 22. I mean, it sets a precedent that if Israel's praises, Yah would write in that. Think about now New Testament with spirit-filled believers. Wow. we It's atmospheric change when you begin to worship God. It's atmospheric change in your heart, in your soul. Even it could be in your body or in the room that you're singing from or the room that you're singing in atmospheric change is so powerful only by the power of his presence do we see that and we welcome you with praise we welcome you with praise almighty god of love you're welcomed in this place that every heart adore that every soul away Almighty God of love, you're welcomed in this place. We welcome you with our praise. We welcome you with our praise. Almighty God of love, you are so welcome in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul away. Almighty God of love, you're welcome. Did you find it, Rick? Psalm 22. Woo. <laughs> what are we, let's get the word going. A psalm. Psalm a day keeps the devil away. <laughs> That's right. Keeps the kingdom of darkness at bay. What do you got? Oh, he, he, I'm, I'm going to try to blow it up here. So we got Psalm 22. Oh, you who are throned oh. in the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. I was trying to find oh, actually where it was. <laughs> that's it. No, there's, that's it. There's six and of look, them. Look, bro, look at verse one, though, for a minute. Mm -hmm. This is the psalm. My God, on the cross, Good Friday. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus, you, why have you forsaken me? Mm -hmm. It is right there. And that's why we will not forget the eternal feast of the Lord. Pass over where the destroyer passed over because of the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. We're right in on it, bro. I wasn't even thinking about that. But verse 3, go ahead. You are holy. Oh, you who are enthroned in the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. 
in you our fathers trusted, leaned on, relied on, and were confident. They trusted and you rescued them. They cried out to you and you were delivered. They trusted in you and you and, and were not disappointed or ashamed. Disappointed. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. So he's enthroned on the praises of his people straight up. And that's just, and let's just leave it there for a minute. Oh, my God, my God, my father, why have you forsaken me? Is there any way, Jesus said, that we can, the cup can pass and there was no other way? I heard uh, Robin Bullock, this guy is way out there, bro. He is so powerful in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And he said, he became sin and the devil said, we won. Yeah. I, I, he, Carla had it on a couple, like two days ago. This guy, listen, bro, when he starts sharing, it just, it, 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 and really, he, he's probably would tell you, I'm not that highly educated, but he is highly anointed. And yeah. God has given him ex, like extreme revelation. I can listen to him for all day, bro. There's very few men <laughs> that are that anointed. I could like listen to him for two hours straight or something. Uh, but I'm telling you, he was going, you guys don't get it. He's on with Steve Schultz, Elijah's dream. He goes, he became sin. Mm. He's the ugliest thing ever. He took all this in and the devil said, look, we won. We, th he, fell for, he fell for the plan that Jesus and the Father had. And, and it says he drug him to hell. Wow. And when he said that, I go, okay, I'm going to have to start weeping, bro. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I, he did what? But then the glory of the Father... I mean, Good Friday, this is the time that we, I hate to almost use the word celebrate, but we acknowledge it at a super high level. And then we go back to the scripture, for you, O Lord God of Israel, you're enthroned on the praises of Israel. And how much more now in the New Testament do we have that? That God is enthroned. He's right there. And this is how I fight my battles. Our three theme songs, which still live on. Raise a hallelujah and Waymaker. <laughs> it's April and we're still singing them because they're that powerful. Because he said, it's through and by my presence that you have your everyday vi daily victory is in the presence of the Lord. We Amen. welcome you with Go ahead. Amen. Almighty God of love, you're welcomed in this praise. Let every heart adore, let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, come on one more time. Yeah, yeah. We welcome you with our praise. We welcome you with our praise. Almighty God of love. You're welcome right here in this place. Let every heart adore. Let every soul awake, my God. Almighty God of love. You're welcome in this. Let's sing, I, let's sing Psalm 22. You are enthroned on the praises of Israel. That's what your word says, Lord. You are enthroned on the praises of your peoples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are enthroned, Lord. It says you are enthroned on the praises of Israel. You're riding on the winds of our praise, Lord. Again, ah. You are enthroned. You are enthroned on the praises of your people, on the body of Christ. Think about it, you guys. Oh, you are enthroned, Lord. Oh, you are enthroned on the praises of Israel. They are, and now in the New Testament, Lord, we sing it out. You are enthroned. You are enthroned on our praises, Lord, on our praises, Lord, yeah. You are enthroned, you are enthroned on the praises of Israel. Second time on the body of Christ, Lord, where well, you are enthroned, you 
are enthroned on the praises and the worship. All right, song number two on Good Friday Eve Eve. The evening that we acknowledge the great sacrifice. Katie and Brian Torwa wrote this song. It's pretty well swept through many nations. When you walk into the room, Lord, guess what? Everything changes. I don't know if I've done it before. It's been a few months, but when he walks into the room tonight for prayer, for worship, wherever his presence is, everything starts changing. When you walk into the room, everything changes. The darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring. When you walk into the room, every heart starts burning. Nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet. We worship you. We worship you. Let's go deep, you guys. Come on. We worship. We worship you. Sickness starts to vanish 
every hopeless situation ceases to exist when you walk into the think about it guys the dead begin to rise cause there's resurrection light and all you do sing that again there's a resurrection light in all you do Resurrection light in all you do. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we love you. And we'll never stop. Can't live without you. Jesus, we love you. We can't get enough of oh, this. Come on, do it again. Yeah, we cry. We love you. And we'll never stop. Can't live without you. sermonettes tonight, Rick? Is that correct? Ruth, take it and run with I just, it's so for five to eight, ten minutes. Give it to Ruth. Let her run with it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Happy Good Friday. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> just really briefly going to share about redemption, ransomed, and freedom. <laughs> And the Lord keeps repeating these two words, redemption and freedom, over the last week. The words of the hour, redemption and freedom. And our Lord Jesus in Hebrew is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ the Messiah, in Revelation 1.8. And faithful witness is the firstborn from among the dead, the first to raise himself from the dead, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he is the ruling king who rules over the kings of the earth. Redemption means padao. It also means ransom. In Hebrew, it's padao. <laughs> Hebrew in Ephesians chapter one, verse seven, in him we have been padao, ransomed, redemption, that is, our deliverance and salvation through his blood which paid the penalty, the ransom for our sin, and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sins. He wow. was sinless, and he did that in accordance with the riches of his grace. In Exodus, we celebrate, uh, the, the Jews celebrate the Passover season at this time of year, and it has overlapped with our resurrection week. <laughs> Passover season is defined by you and me not suffering for our sins wow. but jesus yeshua the lamb was the sacrifice what a gloriously good friday <laughs> redemption oh. and ransom the lord himself will pass through to strike the enemy of our souls and when he sees the blood of jesus on the doorpost where we have placed the blood of jesus over the doors of our hearts glory to god he passed over you and me and he will not allow the destroyer the enemy of our souls to come into our homes to slay us and we have freedom in greek eletheria <laughs> stand in liberty freedom galatians 5 1. it was for this freedom that christ set us free yes. redemption he ransomed us back to Yahweh the Lord. Hallelujah. Completely liberating us. Therefore, 
let us keep standing firm and not be subject again to the yoke of slavery from oh. which we have been removed. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Redeeming love. And I just want to end with this uh, chorus from the Gaithers. Redeeming love, redeeming love, a love that never dies. That's what Jesus did. My soul will sing throughout the endless ages with choirs extolling this great love on high. Redeeming love, thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. You were the ransom for us. We praise you for being the lamb for the sacrifice on our behalf for our sins, just like the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, which is why we celebrate Passover. Your blood is on the doorpost of our hearts because you have ransomed us back. We are redeemed because of your loving blood sacrifice. We're redeemed back to God. Thank you, Lord. And I just feel in my heart to say really quickly that if you want to know Jesus, it's so easy. Uh, yes, life is hard, but it's so much harder without Jesus. All you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Ask him to come into your heart, forgive you of your sins. So Lord, I bless anyone listening right now or on the repeat on Rumble. <laughs> or whichever social media page, that you would experience the redeeming love of God and be ransomed back to your creator God. I feel like a lot of artists are on this call, a lot of artists, and God is so creative and he wants to use you. He wants to bless the world through your art. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> The redeeming love, Rick, Amen. makes us the ransomed of the Lord. You got to sing that. Ain't no question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your redeeming love has made us the ransomed of the Lord. The ransomed of the Lord. Your great redeeming love your great redeeming love makes us the ransomed of the Lord. The ransomed of the Lord. Oh, your great redeeming love now makes us the ransomed of the Lord. We give it all to you. That's why we give our lives to you. the ransomed we uh, i love that word thank you ruth rose angela i i'm the ransomed of the lord because of the great redeeming love i am part of the ransomed of you great redeeming love you great redeeming We are the ransomed of the Lord. We are the ran we got ransomed. Woo! <laughs> We're the ransomed of the Lord. I'll do it one more time. Your great redeeming love has made us the ransomed of the Lord. priest here we are on good friday night and we see you made us a part you ransomed us and redeemed us to be a part of this great people called the kingdom 
of priest revelation 5 9 and 10 first peter 2 9 we were born again and spirit filled to be a part of this very powerful corporate group of people called the kingdom of priests intermingling their praise with prayer and their worship your great redeeming love your great redeeming love has made us the ransom the beautiful ransom people of the Lord. Oh, beautiful people that have been ransomed by the Lord. Get it? Yeah, we get it, Lord. We're the beautiful people, the kingdom of priests. We've been ransomed by the Lord. And so our special song tonight, Rick, I want to check in, is You Made a Way. I taught it last night. I got a choir, at least of 10 maybe, or 11 or 12. But let's just check in with Rick first of all. Anything we need to pray about? Anything on your heart, Rick? Yeah, I just want to acknowledge some of the awesome people that are here okay. on awesome. the on on a, a Rumble Rant, as well as uh, the the nine platforms or eight, seven or eight platforms we're on right now, including a, a YouTube and a Facebook, as well as uh, many others. Uh, Clout Hub, thank you for being on. Flash Course Sky has just got some. Uh, uh, awesome comments on here. I love it. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, giving us comments. Give us your prayer request as well. Um, it's just beautiful to, to see, see everybody interacting via the chat here. He says, Lord, touch hearts, minds, eyes, and ears, bodies, and souls. Fire us up with your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. I love uh, some of these people that are just, uh, we see hallelujah all over the place. I just love uh, the interaction. So keep on uh, giving us those great things. We'll try to, uh, I see Stefan Spano saying, need Jesus to heal my lungs from asthmatic COPD condition and right knee pain. So I didn't miss that. I guess we do have a prayer request here. So um, I know that there's a lot of awesome um, prayer warriors here. I was thinking of, of Gus, would you mind praying for Stephen Spano? And his lungs from asthmatic COPD condition and his right knee pain. Yes, I certainly will. Father Mm. God, we we thank you for this prayer request here, Lord, so we can show forth your works. As you said, unless they see signs and wonders, they won't believe. We've got several believers here tonight. I think we're all believers, Lord, and we call upon your name to heal his lungs, all his ailments in his body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you so much. Again, we talk about that as we uh, are training people on how, on the, the transformational prayer and healing prayer. That's not, not the length of your prayer. It's just releasing the power in all, of Almighty Jesus, right? And you can just pray for these gifts, by the way. There's nine gifts of the Spirit that 2, Chronicle, uh, two Corinthians talks about. And um, again, two of them are the, the, the gift of healing and the gift of miracles. You could ask for those. It's just like plucking them off a tree, right? Say, I want the gift of healing. And if you just lift your hands up, I've done this before, and you just feel the tingling in your hands, and you say, Lord, give me the gift of healing. Give me the gift of miracles. You will literally be able to have, by the authority and power of Jesus Christ, those gifts. If you want to be trained in this in more detail, and uh, just join us backstage at blessedteach.com, blessednumber2teach.com, or join the free neighborhood platform, b2tneighborhood.com. That is so exciting. I see Maria Padilla saying, Good evening, Rick and Kent. Happy Good Friday. May God bless you all and keep you safe and everyone watching in Jesus' name. Just want to acknowledge everybody on. I see Shirley's on. I see Danella. I see so many people uh, t- t- chatting here. Um, Gus, we got. We got uh, Sheila and Shirley and uh, Ken, Ken McLeister. Thank you guys all for all being on here and sharing this special night with us. And may we just continue to praise the Lord Almighty God as we uh, just lift him up as we enjoy his presence. If anybody else would like to pray, um, I would love to have have that. Vicki, maybe would you mind praying? Maybe Vicki, why this time? From Japan. So cool to see we're having people from Canada and Japan and all over the world 
You mind give us a quick prayer, Ricky? I'd like to share with you from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus has come to Lazarus and he is in the grave. He's talking to Martha. And he says, Jesus says, You don't have to wait until the resurrection day. I am the resurrection. I am eternal life. Anyone who clings to me in faith, even though he dies, he will live forever. And the one who lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, I do. And then I walk over to Second Peter, first chapter nine. As a result of this, he has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price, so that through the power of this, these tremendous promises, you can experience partnership wow. with the divine nature yes. by which you escape the corruption, the corrupt desires that are of the world. So Father, we just lift up to you everyone wow. who has a seeking heart. Where do I go? What do I do? Why is all this happening that they will come to you, Father, and that you would bless them with the gift of faith, that you would bless them with the knowledge of resurrection and eternal life so that they will have access to the promises and be one with you as you have asked and even the Holy Spirit. Wow. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And Rick, there's a song by Matt Redman. Most people have heard his name because of a couple of songs, Heart of Worship, he wrote, and Better Is One Day. But this song, uh, nobody really paid attention to it, but it, it has asked all these questions. What heart could hold the weight of your love, Lord, by the way? and know the heights of your great worth. What eyes could look on your glorious face? A great Good Friday song straight up. I was back in the archives, you know, today looking for songs, special songs for tonight. What heart could hold the weight of your love? And know the heights of your great worth awesome prayer vicky awesome what eyes could look on your glorious face shining like the sun your glorious face is shining like the sun Here's the chorus. Everybody jump in now. And you are holy, 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 God most high and God most worthy. You are holy, 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 Jesus, you are Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. Come on, let's sing it again, the little chorus. You are holy, and you are holy. Oh, let's join with all the angels tonight. God most high, and your God most worthy. Your name. 
name alone has power to raise us. Your name alone has power to raise us. Your light will shine when all else evades. Our eyes will look on your glorious face. A shining light, the sun. at Circle K, at Walmart, praying for people all over the world. He said, who shall we say you are? One, you're the living God. You're not a dead God. You're not a lost God anywhere. Number two, you're the great I am. We have done that song so powerfully on this dream. Great I am, woman at the well, I am he. He says, this is really important. You're all you said you would be. Who else ever kept those promises? Again, let me go down here. Who shall we say you are? You're the living God. Who shall we say you are? You're the great I am. The Obey the Holy Spirit. Jalisa, 
unmute and pray a fabulous prayer, young lady. I see you. <laughs> Look, she's flowing in the Holy Spirit. Look at her. I, I, I've been wanting to come to you the last five to eight minutes, and Vicky's was so powerful, I had to do something singing. Go ahead, young lady. Pray. Share your heart. Whatever you got, girl. Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> love you we just love you so much and, and we thank you for that intimacy you know today represents that day that moment in time where Jesus those that were closest to you they thought you were just that you lost they thought that it was over they just didn't know they just didn't know right and their hearts were broken, God. And you knew that. Oh, but that fine day, that fine, beautiful morning when Mary realized you're not dead any longer. And I just thank you that the veil was torn in two. I thank you that from that moment on, we can enter into that special yes. holy of holies. Woo! That no longer did a king or a, pri a priest have to go and represent, but Thank we're invited God. to come into your presence and we're accepted through the blood of Jesus. <laughs> and it changed history. We're just so honored to be in your presence. Teach us more, use us, grow us, make us stronger. Help us just to share your love with all those around us. We love you, Lord. Wow. That is awesome. Thank this is you. what I'm talking about. People are getting stronger, Rick, mm -hmm. and they're going to flow in the Holy Spirit. This place will blow up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Back to you, Rick. You had something? No, just a beautiful night to be able to see everybody so involved. Um, Vicki S., yes, would you mind maybe praying for a few people out there? Vicki S., um, yes. we just, um, Father, we just lift up these petitions to you. We know that you are just ready to, to come and, and extend your hands on, on those of us that need healing and love and um, we just know that you're just emanating love right now to us um, especially um, Jackie uh, someone who just randomly I met and it was definitely meant to be a, a, a Holy Spirit moment and I shared with her I said that I would lift up her at the next our next prayer meeting and she blessed me in so many ways that's what she was talking about and she was a believer she had so much so much faith that I walked away blessed and I was so thankful that I ran into this beautiful woman who loved Jesus and loves people and loves animals Mm -hmm. So we just lift up her and, and Lord, just please um, heal that inflamed lung that has cancer, um, reduce that that fluid, and um, and also she asked if we would pray for her husband and her daughter who, because of this um, conflict, you know, her in this state that they are at odds with each other. And that was more of a of a need for her that they would find peace. So I lift that up, Lord. And Lord, I just looked up especially Rick um, for all his health needs and the surgery coming um, soon. Lord, that um, you will you see what he needs. But we pray for the surgeon that they'll be guided by you and that they will, they will be all the things that need to be done will be quick and he'll be restored and repaired and that there'll be little blood loss and no pain and just comfort um, 
sent by your angels, Lord. And we just, um, we lift up Rick because we know that he just has sacrificed so much to bring this ministry to us um, for you, Lord. And please continue to bless him and bless all of us. Um, we know he, he loves you so much, Lord. And we just praise, praise you for his gift. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I received the second part of the prayer, the first part of the prayer. I just want to make sure Jackie knows that was for you. I just did bad to communication. Jackie, thank you. We just pray for your uh, surgeons. Um, uh, so I know that uh, this is so awesome to see. We love you so much. Uh, it, it is just so awesome to be, able to, to be able to lift people up in prayer. I also want to bring up the daughter, uh, the youngest daughter, Ariel of Kent and uh, Carla, I believe. Or is that math? I think it's. I think it's a. Uh, I think that would be. Yeah, it's our daughter. It's your daughter. Yeah, Ariel. Yeah. So I, I just know Matt's. Uh, Matt's typing it, but I guess it's a uh, Kent and Carla's Darla Ariel. Uh, her husband Jared and baby Jolie recover from COVID quickly. Lord, we just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that uh, you just remove the this whatever this is this virus or this poison or whatever it is that we're learning about this evil of the cabal that tries to destroy our bodies lord we just rebuke that in the name of jesus we call for immediate healing through that gift of the holy spirit that you give us right now lord we just pray for all of them to be feeling awesome they'll wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and better and going covid what this is nothing compared to the love of christ that we have inside us Lord, we just thank you so much for us being able to pray for this. And uh, Patricia is asking for, can we pray for all the people addicted to substances? A young lady, Bernie, just lost her job because of drugs. I want to ask the Holy Spirit lifting her our request to free our brothers and sisters. Lord, so we do. We just lift that up to everyone that's suffering with that. We know the Cabal's done that as well, where they put drugs in our seat, especially um, these opioids and every type of uh, poison they can get into our streets to destroy the lives of many. I've lost two good friends over this opioid addictions. We pray for Bernie right now and for anybody else that is struggling with this, Lord. We pray that you'll just supernaturally remove this addiction from them. Just remove it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Allow them to, to fill it back up with the Holy Spirit and a love for you, a love for the one true God, the one who died for us on this Good Friday, the one who passed, uh, whose blood protects us and allows the angel of death to pass over us, Lord. Thank you, and that's for eternity, the one-time sacrifice of Christ, Lord. We thank you, and we say these things in the name of Jesus. We have a sermonette also from Lois, and um, a sermon from me, whenever you think uh, that's ready, uh, Kent. Oh, no, I think you should go. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i do Lois toward the end, but Rick, go ahead. I think it's time right now. Mm -hmm. This hour has flown by. Yeah. That means it's really anointed of the Holy Spirit. I just <laughs> when love I feel this. like I'm gliding, that's when I know it's really good. So yeah. I think you need to rock, rock us out with it, bro. Let's go. Yeah, I just love to dig into the Word of God. Um, and just read it for what it says, right? And um, versus uh, taking a little scripture here and a little half of a scripture there and trying to teach huge messages. If we just soak in the Word of God sometimes, we can really understand what this Good Friday is about, what, how Passover relates, what, what are so many things. So uh, we, we know that uh, the institution of the Lord's Supper was literally probably the Seder, the Passover. They call it Maudie Thursday sometimes. So we read in Matthew 26, 26 through 29, it says, Now as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So this was obviously before the crucifixion. But it's interesting, he's talking about his blood and how important that is. We talked about Julie Green talking about we are washed by the blood, we are covered by the blood, we are redeemed by the blood, we are 
healed by the blood and devil, you cannot defeat the blood. We have the authority and power of Jesus Christ right now, and we can live in that. And this blood, this covenant is poured out. Why? It's for the forgiveness of our sins. How beautiful is that? We all sin. We're all sinful. We all deserve hell, but what did Jesus do for us? It's completely forgave us because it covers us up. That judgment passes over us. And it's really interesting to see. And if we look at uh, in, in more detail, Mark 15, 20 through 21, it's the crucifixion. And it's a uh, Good Friday, so we just, we just have to kind of understand a little bit more about what's the actual scripture say. And they compelled a passerby, or Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Wow. You think he's carrying his cross of the crucifixion. Just think about carrying hey. Christ's cross, the very creator of the universe, the, the Emmanuel, God with us, and you're going to carry his cross. And they brought him to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, and he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. And with him, they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. What's interesting about this is this all fulfilled so many Old Testament prophecies to know for without a shadow of a doubt, we know that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Messiah. And those who passed by derided him. I'm sorry. And and, uh, yeah, and those who did pass by, pass by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, ah, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself and come down from that cross. Wow. Just think about the insults there and how you would just, most people would have hatred for these people that we know from other scripture that Christ said instead, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Verse 31 says, so also the chief priests with the scribes mocked him to one another saying he saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel come down from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified him also reviled him. This seemed like a desperate moment, obviously, here. It looks like the death had won. Death had defeated Christ. Death had separated disciples. It looked like there was no hope. But as we always talk about, this was just a prelude to what's going to come Sunday. The sixth hour had come. There was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. In the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lemai, Sabbatani. Probably didn't say that right. Which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge in the sour wine and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let's see if whether Elijah will come and take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when a satyrian who stood facing him saw that in, in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly, this was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and the younger of Joseph and, and Salmon. When he was in Galilee, they followed him and ministered to him. And there were also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. I want to get, go back to a little bit about that curtain tearing. You're thinking about a curtain, you're going, okay, yeah, I could tear that curtain. Could you tear a four inch thick curtain? How about one that was 60 feet long? We read about that. We talk about 40 cubits. Uh, there's, there's a lot of evidence that that was 60 feet high. And it was four inches thick. When that earthquake came, that thing tore from bottom to top. The Holy of the Holies, showing that now we have access from that death on the cross to the Holy of Holies directly through Jesus Christ. What an awesome sign. That curtain tore for a symbolic reason to show us that now we don't need a priest to go into the Holy of Holies for us right now. Wow. We have access yeah. through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord. And that is an amazing thing, guys. 
I also want to make sure we don't miss how important Passover is in the feast and the festivals that the yeah. Old Testament talks about. Um, in fact, we got some words. I'm going to share a little bit of inside baseball here. This is some words that uh, uh, Lois is getting and that we're pretty much keeping them backstage. But there are some pretty interesting things here when you look at Passover. I just want to share two things real quickly with you. Um, the first one she got was uh, back, uh, this was back on 412 of 22. But it says, eat of the Passover food and enjoy them as your protection depends on it. Put oil on your doors and posts as my children did in the past so far away. They will know, then you will know that my protection is upon you. So this is important. You can tell it's important to God. And there's another place here that we got a word that said, as the Red Sea, as, as I close the Red Sea this summer, as we're talking a lot about the great exodus, the Red Sea's open, we're walking through it right now, the cabal's gonna be judged and it's gonna close in on them. Probably this summer, it looks like. You will know the time is here. The Passover is important to honor. The festivals have been ignored and I am angry. And uh, often in these words, he refers to me as the man with the words because I love the word and teach it to you guys a lot. It says the man with the word must help you understand them and lead you through the festivals. Why do you think I gave you Genesis and Exodus? And why do you think I have opened the Red Sea? Why do you think I have given you backstage? We have a backstage ministry here. I invite you guys to come and join this ministry. It's amazing. So we're going to be celebrating this tomorrow night with Amanda Grace. we we'll probably start at 5.30 Central Time a half hour of teaching and then we'll get into sharing that with uh, Amanda. I wanted to quickly go over a couple of quick things. Uh, death in Adam and life in Christ. If I get back into Genesis, you mentioned Genesis is important to him to really understand what's going on now. So therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, the death through the sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. For sin indeed was in the world before the law was given, but sin is not counted where there is no law. So we know this is talking about Adam. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transition of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. We call him the first Adam, right? And that Christ is really the second Adam. So everybody basically deserves to go to hell because we're all sinful because of that fall in the garden. The fall. But the free gift is not like the trespass. This is the free gift of Christ. For if many died through one man's trespasses, more, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. That's right. All of us can be saved if we come personally to Jesus Christ. That's what, that's what this is talking about in Romans 5, 22 through 23. And I'll end with this. This is uh, just talking about, uh, this is a beautiful scripture all the way through Christ's sacrifice in Hebrews 10, where it talks about the priests, remember, had to go in every year and do all that type of stuff. But now we know this is the final sacrifice, once and for all, one-time sacrifice that happened on that cross that we just read about when the veil tore from top to bottom four inches thick just completely 60 feet up Woof. and so we know for by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified and the holy spirit also bears witness to us for saying this is the covenant that i will make with them after those days declares the lord i'll put my laws on their hearts and i'll write them in their minds and he adds i'll remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. That is the beauty of what happened on Good Friday. That Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins. If we can accept him, as, Ro as Ruth said earlier, she said, if you just confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's Romans 10, 9. You will be saved if you just say that and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. This is the beauty. Now, there is rocky times coming, guys. And God's made it very clear between evil and good in these days. And there is going to be a huge reckoning. 
And the question is, which side are you on? Is this blood of Jesus going to gonna be covering you when all this happens? Is the blood of Jesus on you right now that's going to be covering you and sanctifying you for all time? If yes, not, Lord. you do not want to go through these times. You need to make that decision now. And that's why we say, just bow your head and say, just what Romans 10, 9 says. Confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. You know you're, you know you're sinful. For all of sin and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23 tells us. Romans 6, 23 says, and the gift of God, and, 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 and the, the, the wages of sin is death. You've all sinned. The wages of sin is death. So what do you need to do? You need to do what Romans 10, 9 says. You says, confess Jesus is Lord with your mouth and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. And you'll have access to the Holy of Holies through Jesus Christ our Lord. What a beautiful time that is. Let's be bold in our faith. Let's recognize what happened in the Passover this Holy Weekend. Let's honor the Passover. Let's honor the Lord Jesus Christ. But most of all, make sure you give your heart to him and you're holding on to that kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let me pray, Heavenly Father. Just thank you so much for everyone. Thank you for the, wow. the, tor the torn veil of four inches thick and 60 feet high so that we can have access to the Holy of Holies through Christ Jesus, our Lord. We love you, Lord, and thank you for this plan. Thank you for Good Friday. Thank you for Easter Sunday or the Resurrection Sunday, I like to call it. And Lord, thank you most of all for passing over, giving us the, the sign for what Jesus is going to come and the once and for all sacrifice that we no longer have to do sacrifices because of the holy blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's our choir song, everybody together. Amen. You made a way for me to enter the holy. The, the veil has been rent.
they would be with me to see my glory amazing what these words to color my shame and my iniquity for the sake of freedom you set me free yeah. that is Ruth's word tonight at the front end of our stream for freedom he has set us free you made us a new I think it's by a new and living way it's found in the book of Hebrews I'll give you a minute let's go back to the verse I love this is Matt Gilman's song he wrote this back in the day it's maybe 10 years old not eight years old when he was at the prayer room in Kansas City the International House of Prayer these young kids pray three hours a day the leaders pray three hours a day all the teachers pray. I mean, they're, they're committed. They're actually sitting before the Lord in worship and prayer. It's called the, the sacred trust that everybody that's in school there, that are leaders. You got it, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> this is a new and living way. I got the NASB came up, Hebrews that's 10. Cool. Right? That's cool. That's right. Therefore, Perfect. brothers and sisters, since we have confidence yeah. to enter the holy place, <laughs> by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is, through, through his that flesh. Veil. Through that veil, Rick. You said four inches, 60 foot tall. Mm -hmm. it probably it had been built up. Do it again by a new and living way, which he inaugurated for us by the blood to enter the holy place that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach God with a sincere heart and full of assurance and faith. Why is that important, Rick? On the fly, top of your head, why is this important that we have a new and living way? It's awesome because now we have a once and for us for forever sacrifice so that this oh. uh, we don't have to have a, a temple sacrifices anymore. We now have the love oh, of Jesus man. and the blood of Jesus covering us. And that now when we die, the actual spiritual death, angel of death passes over us and we have eternal life instead. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Well, okay. let's do it again the from high the top priest by the forever. crimson stain. Mm -hmm. High priest Melchizedek mm -hmm. by the crimson stain then. And then I'm going to go to Lois. No pressure, Laura, Lois. Just full him. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> by the crimson stain, it was on your robe, Lord. By every nail and every pounding blow. By every stripe and every bruise upon your back I can hear you crying out, God You say, Father, I desire that they would be yeah. They would be with me to see my glory To color my shame and my iniquity. That's awesome. 
For the sake of freedom, you set me free. Yeah. You set me free. Yeah. Come on, one more time. You Bless us right now. Flow in the Holy Spirit, woman of God. Woo. It's so funny. Oh, I love that uh, you made a way for me. I love that, Kent, because that's kind of what I want to do tonight is, is take everybody on a journey, a way to go. And so I'm inviting everyone. This is from Matthew 26, verse 18. Jesus replied, Go into the city, Jerusalem, to a certain man and tell him, The teacher said, My time is near. I will observe the Passover with my disciples at your house. <laughs> what would it be like to have the Lord Jesus at your house <laughs> to celebrate Passover? So let's go on a journey together and follow me as we see in our mind what it may have been like for the man and his family. So the man and his family are scurrying around to prepare the food, feeling elated to be the one chosen to serve his Lord. Oh my God. And as the disciples come to the door, the food is set out and notice they leave their sandals on as they make their way to the table, and here they recline. We see that one of, one of them is above all the others, and he stands out as strong, yet humble. Jesus bows his head to say the before meal prayer. The candles are lit. Now we see the table each food representing an important part of the remembrance for the children of Israel. See the blood on the doorpost and the deep meaning of that act? Think of the faith it took for the children of Israel to know that they would be spared the horror of the death of their firstborn. And the disciples are recalling all this as they talk about the symbolism as they eat each food. And now the meal is complete and Jesus again bows his head and he prays. And all the disciples thank the man and they leave his house. And the man is standing there remembering this night and the part he played in sharing the Passover meal with his Lord. Could that be you? Let's pray. Father God, our hearts are filled with remembrance and gratitude for the opportunity to share this Passover season. For some of us, this is new, and for others, this is tradition. We all come from different backgrounds, but tonight we come without division as we join together in remembrance of the Passover, this most important festival of the year. Thank you, Lord, for this is a very special time with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lois, that is awesome. Because as soon as she started, 
I thought of Martha was the only other one that said, Jesus, come to my house. He said, okay. And they all ran home to clean up the house. They were throwing stuff up on the roof. And, and Jesus came and Martha was so you know, concerned about, well, people stop bragging on Martha. Stop doing that because she is, a, Mary didn't ask Jesus to come to the house, Martha did. And the, when they got there, Mary sat down at the master's feet, hanging on every word. Martha was so concerned about food, but think about this, you guys, because it parallels with Lois's word. If you throw out matzah crack, crackers to Jesus, you'll have a seven course meal. <laughs> the, the loaves and fishes, he did the loaves and fishes, the little boy's lunch. Right. And they fed 5,000 on one occasion and 10. But Martha was bold enough and he came to her house. That is very personal, Lois. Hallelujah, Rick. What do you got? How do you want to? I don't want to close Thank out you, at Tim. all, but oh, that is very sweet. Somebody's house. They went to somebody's house, man. Yeah, I just want to make sure everybody understands how important uh, the Passover and the festivals are to the Lord God Almighty. Let's Jesus. not forget those. Let's not let uh, our our new traditions run them over, especially with Easter eggs and uh, bunnies, right? Let's focus on the blood of Christ and how that represents uh, way back during the Passover and that we're about ready to go through a great exodus now. It's vital for us to understand that this cabal is going to be judged and the ones that are in Goshen, the ones that are protected right now are the ones who have the blood of Christ all, uh, covering them, those ones who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. So make sure that is you, that you can hang on to this, this kingdom that cannot be shaken. That is so vitally important. Join us for the Passover meal tomorrow night. Amanda Grace will be leading us through that. Amanda and Chris, as they go through their Seder dinner starting at 6 p.m. CST, we'll do a teaching about a half hour before that, talking about not only the Passover Seder meal, we're going to be talking also about the, the, first, the first fruits um, um, celebration as well as the unleavened bread, which is very important to the Lord um, to just signify everything that happened back then. It'll be a beautiful time tomorrow night, 5.30 p.m. on this channel. Um, CST and then 6 p.m. we'll have bring um, Amanda uh, YouTube up and uh, celebrate dinner with her. Again, the shopping list uh, you can find on Amanda Grace for him blogspot.com. I'm so excited. But uh, can't just thank you so much for this wonderful night. Um, oh, wait, just one more thing, one mm -hmm. more thing. We're not that much over. Mm -hmm. We're going to cry out with the power and the authority of the Lord, the song Hosanna who I got course corrected in Jerusalem at the house of prayer. Kent, we love you. Thanks. But it's Hoshana, <laughs> not Hosanna. Yeah. I said, I'm an American. Don't correct my English. <laughs> so however you want to sing it, Hosanna. Oh, he is risen, yeah. Hosanna in the high, yeah. We cry. Save now, Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. One verse, I see a generation, they're rising up in America and across the nations. Generations are rising up to take their place. We sing it out. I see a generation rising up to take their place with selfless faith, my God, with selfless faith. Here it is, you guys, a near revival. I see a near revival. Pray and see we're on our knees. Come on, declare it and lift it up to heaven tonight. And Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. Love those flags.
Son Jesus Christ, we couldn't come to earth to get to heaven, Lord. We had no way of being saved, Lord. Woo! You sent your Son, your very word, to your beginning that was with you and was your flesh to come down here to rescue us, Lord. And when the enemy thought he had defeated him on the cross, you duped the enemy and you rose from the dead on the third day, <laughs> seated at the right hand of the Father, ever. Woo! Ever, ever, ever answering for our prayers, standing in for us, defending us. We praise you, we honor yes. you, glorify your name this past yes. season, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rick, where's hallelujah. your hallelujah? Awesome. <laughs> the three musketeers with the hallelujah. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Again, join us tomorrow God, night. Awesome. Yes. It's good. <laughs> we just love uh, love this time where we feel the presence of the Lord and can do intercessory prayer for people. And uh, join us on the neighborhood, Blessed to Teach Neighborhood, where you can be in groups with other like-minded people like this. Um, again, the B2T Neighborhood, uh, and that's b2tneighborhood.com. And then also want to join backstage and be back here with us. Um, that's really where the ministry is really getting deep, and that would be going to blessedteach.com, blessed with the number two teach.com, and hit the backstage tab. Um, with that, we're just going to say, hey, make sure you join us tomorrow night, 5:30 p.m. The same channels here. You can backstage, obviously, if you'd like to, and and we're going to have we're going to have our meal in front of us. We're going to have the matzah, and we're going to have the wine, and we're going to have uh, the parsley. And we're going to have all this stuff, and you can either observe or actually participate with us tomorrow. Uh, learn about the first fruits, learn about the Passover and everything. Uh, it's going to be an exciting night tomorrow night on Saturday as we celebrate with Amanda Grace. Um, with that, if everybody, everybody wouldn't mind unmuting and saying goodbye. Goodbye. Vicky's, Bye, Vicky's, everybody. Vicky's, Bye. Lois, Thank you, everyone. God. Everyone in the future, <laughs> in the future. Whoa, we love you. We love you. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you all. All right. Bye bye. See you tomorrow night. Happy right. And next Friday night as well. God bless you all. God bless.